think the most important part is just new chapter. For me, it's a new chapter of something that um, is new for me, and I'm excited about it. That's the most important part. Um, playing with different guys, uh, new organization, coaching staff, medical staff, new fans, the whole nine. I think it's an exciting overall experience, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think it's, uh, it's good for both of us. We understand the amount of energy and the effort, time, commitment it takes to be able to do that for an entire season. Um, and now being together on the same team, I think it's something that we can lean on, um, sacrifice and not do as much um, to still have an impact on the game and help us to our one common goal and, and be hungry enough to, to be able to get to, to a championship. Absolutely. I mean, that's the, the, the best part. I think that um, a lot of people and, and, and people don't know is just our friendship. You know, when you have a friendship first outside of basketball, um, you're able to communicate. Um, and James has um, been, been friends for, for many, many, many years. And I think when you're able to communicate and understand each other um, in the game, it's going to be easy. Um, they're going to be adverse. There's going to be times where I'm upset, James upset, but I'm able to kind of sit there and let him know what he's doing by himself and he can do it vice versa. So I think it's to, uh, the best the way to compliment each other. you feel like you have a new lease on life? Say it again. you feel like you have a new lease on life? Yeah, definitely, man. I think it's um, a great opportunity, um, a good, good thing, and something that I'm very, very excited about and looking forward to. Um, I think as a unit, we have to, uh, number one, figure out um, exactly what it takes. And I think, um, like you said, every team and every player wants to come in and have the best season they want and win the championship. But do you really understand what that means? Um, and I know um, the guys here have been conference finals and I understand what it's like in James. We've been in the finals. We understand what it takes to sacrifice the commitment. Um, that you're going to have to take as an individual player and as a team. You have to figure out the best way to play uh, basketball, at, at, play winning basketball at a high level. Well, you were obviously looking forward to playing with James, but what about Mike and Tony's system that you're excited about? What makes it an old? Um, just going out and playing. Uh, Mike has been amazing so far, um, just open to, to any and everything. And I understand how um, his system and understand um, – what it entails, and each year he's better, um, better and better uh, at finding ways to making uh, guys better on the team. And my job is to come in and, and do the same exact thing. Uh, I'm, I'm all ears, man. I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm new. I'm excited. I'm just here to have fun and win and play at a high level. Um, it's it's going to be. Scary. That's all I can tell you. It's going to be scary. Not for us. Russ, when you talk about we know you have a lot of issues with James, what you've seen about the other two so far, what excites you about the You know what? Um, we have a lot of vets. And I think uh, for me, that's uh, going to be a little different, but great. And I'm excited about it because um, these guys understand what it takes to be able to win and understand what it takes to uh, go out and compete you know, each and every night. Excuse me. Um, and I think that's a, the most important part. Are you seeing any similarities between Clay Coachella and your former teammate, Sam Adams? Steven is his name. Steven, but uh, <laughs> if he was here, he he want that <laughs> get that action. <laughs> uh, but they're different players, man. They're different players. Um, obviously, I've been able to know Steven for many, many years, and it's like a brother to me. Um, and now getting here and playing against Clint for many years is seeing his – um, improvement over the years. I'm excited to just to be a part of it, to be able to help. Um, and that's what I'm here for, man. And Clint has done an amazing job this summer. Um, just seen him the last couple of days. He looks so good and in his shape and, and ready to go. And I'm just excited to be able to, to be here and be a part of it. Well, 
Um, on what aspect? You know what? I think it's interesting, um, just for me, because I impact the game in so many different ways, and I've proven that um, for many years, and that's why I'm not worried, because I don't have to have the ball to impact the game. I don't have to score. Um, I don't have to do anything. I can defend. I can rebound. I can pass. I can lead. Um, my main goal and main focus is to win, um, and I can go a game and be scoreless, and if we win, that's the best thing that ever happened. That's all I care about, and that's all I always, always cared about. So that's the most important thing. So when, when it comes to me and James playing together, who's going to have the ball, who's not going to have the ball, it really doesn't matter. Um, there's no, I don't have to prove to score 30 points. I've, I've done that before. I don't have to prove um, to average 10 assists. I've done that before. I don't have to prove to get 10, 11 rebounds. I've done that before. My goal is to win a championship. So whatever it takes to be able to do that, that's what I'm going to do. Um, the same thing I've done every off season, rest. <laughs> it is. It's strange being in this room. Uh, <laughs> just the overall experience, man, is uh, is real. Uh, just great, you know. To to it's a new start for me. I feel like um, I've uh, been blessed and thank thankful for for everybody in the city, the people uh, of, of Oklahoma. They've obviously. I've learned so much for, from being there, but now here in Houston, I'm able to kind of um, start this new chapter, and I'm excited about it. Yeah, uh, probably so. Yeah, probably so. If you really look, think about it, yeah, probably so. Um, it's a great, it's great, man. As a player. Um, I always feel like every year, uh, whatever team I'm on, I feel like we have a chance to win. Um, and I think that's kind of the, the goal and the, the energy around our team um, leading into training camp that we understand that it's not going to be something that just going to happen. It's going to hand us over. It's something that we're going to have to work for each and every day and something that we're going to have to uh, lock in and be consistent at, at what we're doing. Um, I feel like I'm at a good in a good place. Um, and I'll be ready to go open tonight. night. Definitely interested. Um, so we kind of see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. I was actually um, in Tokyo this summer uh, for my Jordan tour, and the fans there are amazing. It's something that. I've experienced it, so I'm looking forward to kind of getting uh, back to Japan and uh, catching that energy as well. Russ, your record is never changing your approach. You have your approach work for you to do it. Is that still the same here coming to a totally new situation? Definitely. I mean, why not mindset? Something I live by, something I, uh, I've always um, stand by. And the, the organization, the people here, that's the number one thing they've always told me, just be myself. And... They don't want me to change who I am. It's the reason why they brought me here. Um, and I'm not going to change who I am. I, I feel like my mindset is what's got me to this point. Um, but there is ways to be able to adjust through your mindset, adjust when you get to new teams, adjust different players. And I'm able to do that and sacrifice certain things. But I think my mindset is something that keeps me going, keeps me consistent, and keeps me playing at a high level. Yeah. You know what? It's uh, not even kind of, I think it's a mutual respect, and it's one thing that um, that I'm happy and glad that people know about me is that when you see me, you know I'm gonna come at you. But at the same time, it's a mutual respect. I, I give all opponents uh, the same amount of respect. But I do know uh, when I get in between those lines, um, if you're not on my team, I only got one friend, and that's Spalding. And if you and that ain't your name, I can't help you, champ. Uh, you know, we'll see. But I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. 
Definitely. I think it's a huge aspect. The locker room aspect is very, very important. I think that's something that people don't kind of uh, take a hold of when you have a good locker room, have a lot of good guys that um, understand the game, understand what it takes to be able to win um, throughout the season and uh, be consistent is very, very important. Um, you know what, we, we talked before I got traded many years all throughout the season that we've always reflected, even the time where uh, we were both um, in the room when I won MVP, just seeing myself and him, two, two inner city guys growing up from LA in the same room, going for the MVP, talking about it year after year. To me, that's a blessing in itself. It's something that a lot of people um, around the world, media, fans don't understand because they were steady trying to pull us apart that year. And uh, it was very important that me and Jane, we stay close through text, through phone calls. And that's something that we co consistently do because it's important, man. You, The bigger picture, obviously, is the NBA and the championships and MVPs and all the nonsense. But for me, it's about brotherhood and creating a relationship and friendship with somebody that's important. Um, and it's bigger than basketball. And that, to me, that's the most important thing. Yeah, it's important, man. It makes a player's coach when you when you have a coach that's able to kind of lean on what you do well and find a way to put you in position to be successful. It's um, it's it's a great thing and it's a, it's an important thing to a team. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, he's he's expanded his game. He understands. He's he's gotten older. He understands um, what it takes to win at a high level. He knows um, the sacrifice. He knows the, the 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 hard work he has to put in. And to be able to see that over the years has been amazing for me to be able to see from afar. And obviously, battling against him uh, for many many years, being able to see that up close. So um, now to be a part of it, my job is to be able to push him to to another level. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I mean, I hear it already. Um, I think it's important that uh, myself and him speak up and, and stay uh, voicing our opinions and communicating through um, our play, obviously, but also outside of the, the basketball court, which is most important uh, to create team, team chemistry uh, throughout the season. Gerald Green was asked about playing with you. He said that there's two types of dogs in the world. There's cage dogs and there's first dogs, and you're definitely not a first dog. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Did you pay much attention to the changes around the league with some of these so excited to see just how the league sounds, I guess, just what they're Definitely, man. There's a lot of great um, teams are excited about the new changes, new 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 additions. But I only worry about one team, and that's where I'm at. Um, and that's all I can worry about. Yes, it is. Um, for many reasons, um, but I do think it's um, something that I'm excited about just because um, it's that time of year where, and, and for me, just to, to be able to, to turn it up another notch, uh, to be uh, the best I can possibly be, and, and that's what I'm excited about. Absolutely, man. Being hungry in this league is important, but staying hungry is, a, is, a, is the hardest thing to do um, throughout a season because you can get complacent, you can get uh, comfortable to, to forget what the main goal is. And, and my job is to make sure that um, I continue to instill and keep pushing the fact that we, we're playing for, for a bigger, bigger goal, and that's the championship. Do you think it would be interesting to be cheered on Yeah. Um, but I always, this is what I always, I always think. I take booze and fans and the negative comments as a positive because they're only booing me because I'm really good at what I do. So that's why they're booing me. It, it's just what it is. And I, I take it gracefully and I'm thankful for it because um, whether people think I'm a bad guy or a bad teammate or, you know, but one thing that is not, 
you can't take away from me is that I love to play. I play hard. I compete every single night. I step on the floor, and I've been doing that for years. So the booze and the stuff to me is just it's great. If they don't boo you at all, don't say anything when you go in the game, then I'll be worried. But if they boo me, no worries. But now I'm happy to be here in the Toyota Center where now hopefully they cheer for me. I'm excited about it, man. I can exert energy other ways, man, kind of how I mentioned before, because a lot of my energy exerted all over the place, and I, I can put that into another area certain nights. Some nights be towards scoring, some nights passing. It, it, didn't, it just really doesn't matter for me because I know that I'm able to kind of do different things and have my hand on, uh, on the game in different aspects. So I'm just looking forward to, to doing that. Thank you. Yep. What's the deal? Uh, very, very excited. <clears throat> it's always a time of year where you get an opportunity to compete, you know, for a championship. And uh, I think that, like the most exciting part about it is going through like the tough times, going through like the grind days, going through the three three games of four nights, and um, you know, just five games and seven nights because that's how you build character. That's how you build, you know, uh, trust in each other. Um, when things aren't going great. You got to come even closer together, and um, that's I think one of the things that we were missing last year, um, and you know just the, with the addition of you know obviously Russ, but Tyson, um, who's going to be a huge piece to help clean out um, Austin for a full year, the house for a full year, um, and just uh, the, everybody that uh, that's returning. It's going to be exciting. Um, I'm, I'm very excited, not, not just myself. I know just from him having a you know an entire organization for 11 years that he had to kind of you know uh, play for. Um, he just comes to an entire different chapter in his life to go out there and just play and don't have to stress and worry about uh, the pressure of, of carrying an entire organization. Um, I'm excited for him. You know, I think the front office and, and coaches and teammates are all excited. So. Uh, tomorrow is a, is a uh, beginning and a journey to something great. Hey, Jeff, you talked so much about the goal, only goal being to win a championship. What do y'all have to do in order for that to happen? I mean, uh, that's the goal every year. I think for every individual player, every team, every every organization, you know, all that good stuff. Um, for us, is just putting the, putting the, the puzzle together. You know, obviously, we all know that how long of a, a regular season you know is, and it's going to be a lot of ups and downs and all that good stuff, but. Uh, it's, it's all sacrifice. It's all knowing that you know it's a big picture, and you know things happen throughout the course of the year, throughout the course of NBA season. You just uh, you just try to try to weather the storm and, and get past it, and, uh, and and focus on the bigger picture. We don't know yet. <laughs> it's figuring out. It think certain things happen throughout the course of the game that you just like. Okay, this is what's going to happen, or this is what's happening right now. That you just ride with. You know, like well, if Russ got it going and Russ is on one of them games that we all seen before. Guess what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Sit back and watch the show. You know, and vice versa. And, and or if Eric Eric can get it going and go, go off at 30-40. Like that's just a part of basketball. So you can't say sit here and say, oh, well, Russ is going to have the the basketball for the first half, and then I'm going to have the ball for the second. No, it's things happen throughout the course of the game that you just flow with and and and, and go with. So, um, like I said, all of us in this locker room and in, in this front office is, is has one goal, and that's to win. So, however that happens is going to happen, and we're going to you know, like I said, figure it out. Is there anything about Russ' game that's going to have to adjust being here with you since your game has changed so much? Since nope. Nope. Because I can play off the basketball, I can catch and shoot. Um, I can do the things off the basketball. I can I can be on the wing. I can be in the corner. I can be wherever he needs me to be, and vice versa. Like Russ has played off the basketball, uh, whether it's you know previously with myself or USA Basketball, before Russ you know was ball dominant like like he had he's had to do. He was playing off the ball at UCLA, and, and so he know it, like when you're a basketball player, you figure it out, and you go on, you get on the court, and you do things necessary to win games, and that's all that we are about. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think just uh, just my voice. Um, like, my work ethic is always going to be there. Um, you know, my game is always going to you know, speak for itself. But just, you know, building my guys up, building that confidence in each individual player to make them go out there and whatever their role they're in, be the best in, in their role. Like, that role that you're in can get you a lot of money and provide for your family and, and change your family's lives. So be the best in that role. Don't try to be anybody else, but that best player in your role. And whether it's, you know, Clint, you know, every single day, you know, being on him and building that confidence in him. And, you know, we, we've all seen where he started from and where he is now, um, you know, just in, in goes down the line. And so I'm, even somebody like, you know, Daniel House who's with us half of the year and just giving him that confidence to go out there and just be who he is, like, you know, Find your role, be great in it, and that role is going to help our team get to where we want to go. James, how do you feel about playing as a coach right now? We've been with him a few years, and the team's changed, but bringing back us the same guy was a big change, just in terms of him being the right coach for this team in this situation. Coach, he's the right coach for this situation. Uh, he wouldn't rather have any other coach because he, he knows how to deal with personalities. And like I said before, coach gives me confidence, and he gives Russ confidence, but you know, you hear that's what coaches are supposed to do. They're supposed to give their best players confidence. Well, coach gives the 14th and 15th player that same confidence that he gives me in Russ. And you don't find that often. I don't care if it's NBA. I don't care if it's college. I don't care if it's high school. Like, you don't find that, that, that coach that gives that player confidence. Well, when you get in the game or this is when you're checking in the game, be ready to go, you know. And, and this is what, what I need you to do out there and just do it to the best of your ability and I got your back. Like, he gives you that confidence to where you're like, okay, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to just play free. Because you know, most of the time you're out there, you, well, if I make one mistake, I'm going to come out the game and coach is going to take me out. I'm like, nah, coach, he gives you that confidence to where if you make a mistake, so what? What's next? Let's get it back. Next possession. And right there, that, that right there shows you that he's, he's here for the long haul. What role did you and Russ play in bringing Seth Lowe to the team? I mean, Tabo pulled up himself. You know, he came to Vegas and uh, we had a training camp last week. And we just guys lifted and worked out and did yoga and things like that. And Tabo came came there, you know, on his own and uh, made a roster spot for himself. Uh, I've been knowing Tabo obviously since I've been in the league. Me, myself, and Russ, and he's always been that guy that worked extremely hard. And uh, obviously, he's a great defender. Um, but he came and made that and took that spot himself. And uh, as a guy like that who wants to come to a championship uh, caliber team and um, and contribute. I mean, uh, I'm excited for him and I'm appreciative for him. Say, say it again. Oh uh, yeah, I'm excited. I've never been in. You know, once I, you know, when I go overseas and go to different countries and, and things like that, I embrace it because you know they don't get an opportunity to see you know NBA players and NBA games. Uh, Obviously, as much as you know the states, and so that would be an opportunity to embrace my you know Japanese fans and show them how much I appreciate them because I don't come in contact with them you know <clears throat> as much as I would love to. So it's going to be exciting. I'm, I'm excited. The NBA is obviously taking this game global. Uh, we know how powerful this game is, and <clears throat> not only myself but the ent this entire organization is excited to take our organization to Japan and uh, showcase our talents. Extremely important. Extremely important. Um, his presence, you know, protecting that rim, uh, finishing around the basket, um, you know, blocking shots, just doing everything, guarding guards when we switch on defense. Uh, everything that, you know, he's he's a huge piece. Of, I think every individual guy is in his way are, is huge to where we're trying to go. And so um, that's why that confidence needs to be built from tomorrow, training camp, and so forth and so on, and every single day just trying to find it and figure it out. Frustrated? Why would I be frustrated? How do you feel about it? <laughs> Honestly, like I don't really care about <laughs> what other teams are doing and how crazy the West is or the East is or what's this team. I don't really care. Like what we have in this locker room is is good enough. Did you pay attention much as things were shaking out during the offseason? No, nah, I paid a little bit. I paid attention to when Paul George left. That means Russ was available. <laughs> <laughs> Mm 
Mm-hmm. Nah. I'll take on anything. I mean, if we don't win, I'll take all the blame for it. I don't. That's just what it, it's, it comes with it. You know, that's why you have to go out there and win. <laughs> and so that's why we work extremely hard in the offseason to um, bring players in and bring whatever is necessary in for us to give ourselves that chance to win. And that's all it is. Like, I know what's at stake. I know, you know, if we don't win, James Harden and such and such get the credit or, or gets doesn't get the credit for it or they're going to talk down or they're going to create a narrative that whatever they want to create, like, this ain't my first rodeo. Um, so that's why you have to work extremely hard, not, not only just on the court, but off the court to make sure that the pieces is, is in line to help you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been what uh, eight years. We're at, we've accomplished a lot of individual you know, accolades uh, individually. Now it's time to you know, you know, accomplish something together that we haven't accomplished before. I've I've always had the, the voice, but just. Uh, had to wait my turn. <laughs> like I've always had the voice, and uh, when I when I got here, I started to you know use it a little bit more, um, but show my work ethic a lot more. And then these few last few years has just been uh, you know outspoken. But you know it, each individual player, you have to find ways to to hit their pressure point, and some are different than others. You know, and I've learned that these last few years. Like maybe I can go and yell at a guy and be in his face and he'll take it, okay, I gotta get better, you know, beard 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 is on me now. Or another guy is exactly. Or another guy you might have to, you know, dumb it down and talk a little bit, uh, you know, explain a little bit more, talk a little not so aggressive. So it's just different players have different personalities that you have to um you have to learn and you have to accept them for, you know, who they are. And uh that's how you get the best out of your teammates. Say it again. Myself, myself. But we, you know, this team is uh, it's gonna be pretty, pretty dope, man. From you know, Russ, PJ to Tyson to Austin. I mean, our our making the calls that we, our runway before the games. It's gonna be a runway. We gonna have red carpet. We gonna have music. We gonna have the whole, you know, whole nine yards. So be ready for it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of my goals. You know, uh, this year didn't had I mean had the opportunity, but it was just tied up with so many different things. Um, but that, of course, that's one of my goals to to represent the USA and uh, represent this beautiful country um, in the games. You can just see the the instant like his voice, like when we we're in Vegas, like even when he wasn't on the, on the court playing and he was on the side, like he was talking like he was helping the team pick and roll coming weak side help talk uh, pointing different guys out you know helping them on what they need to you know to be doing in order for, to them to be successful so uh, his voice automatically is going to change our you know our, our, our team and uh, you know and then obviously on the, his play on the court is going to help us as well but just him Clint having somebody that has been through it that has a, that has a championship that kind of plays similar to what you know how Clint you know plays it's going to be great for Clint, and it's going to be great for our entire team. So uh, we're excited to have Tyson, and um, like I said, they want us tomorrow. Tyson was telling us about the pickup game during the lockout. If I remember right, the Yankees at Loyola, where Kobe told him that you were going to be next. I don't know, only about eight years ago, but what did that day mean to you? I don't remember. I don't remember that day. I don't remember that day, but Kobe. It was. It was. Uh, I mean, just coming from from being himself is is dope. Like somebody that I idolized, that I just grew up watching. Um, he did it his way. He did it for a very, very long time at the highest level, and we all witnessed that. We all witnessed how great he was. So just you know, coming from him is uh, it's pretty cool. Could you expect that? Then? I've always expected it. Just uh, the opportunity and, and the you know the opportunity came when you know I put this Rockets jersey on and.